Welcome back, everyone. Today, we're going to be talking about Giraffe's properties and usages that we have built into the platform. So uh, continuing on with this project on Fig Street, I've sort of further developed this out and built my second tower um, and also added in some landscape and some trees as well. So if you missed anything there, feel free to skip back on those videos to check out how I've created um, what we see on the screen here. But today we're going to be taking a step back and further understanding what it is we see here in terms of the properties and the usages associated with this geometry. So to do that, I'm just going to add another drawing layer here. We're going to call this properties and usages. And we're going to toggle off um, our development to date. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to stay in 3D mode to display this um, just because I think it further um, it's good to understand as it changes when we add those properties. So um, if I add a rectangle here, R on my keyboard, drawing that rectangle. And now what I want to do is we currently have a blank piece of geometry. Um, it knows very little about itself. Um, it knows its area and some perimeter values. However, what we can do is add properties to that. So on the left-hand side in the properties panel, there's a button up the top, add property. And we have a number of properties here um, that you can have a look from, but I'm gonna select a few such as color, height, and opacity is the last one. And we can see each of those attributes adjusting the um, map on the screen, our geometry. And now we have this gray rectangular prism displayed. So if I select that again to bring up the properties, we've got a color attribute here, so I can change that to a red. The fill opacity, we can drag that down so it's a lot um, more translucent. And we can adjust the height here, so I can sort of double click in there and let's say it's double the height at 20 meters. So now we have a piece of geometry with added properties and it knows a little bit more information about itself. However, the next step beyond that is usages. So Giraffe understands usages and that's how we compute the data that comes out um, on the right hand side through the app panels, which will be covered in a later video. However, if we start from that same, I'm just gonna to toggle into 2D, no, 2D mode, um, draw another rectangle here and rather than add the properties individually, the concept of usages pre-bakes some of this information when we select a usage. So if I select residential as a usage, we can see straight away it knows some features about itself. It knows its color, we know our height attribute, and it knows um, a lot more which is covered in the usage editor, which is part of a more advanced um, course. So we won't discuss that today, but the usage editor is located here and we can start to really break down how that data is being calculated behind the scenes um, with the residential usage here. And just to round this out, if I toggle the properties and usages um, off and go back to our proposed development, we can see both of these are just are usages and they have different um, properties applied to them. So we have a retail usage over here on the properties panel and we have a residential usage stacked on top. And we also have a landscape usage as well. So the geometry that we see here on the screen is divided into usages and that's how it flows through Giraffe into the data analytics side of things.